monthly update, we are here at Fall Creek Landing. Um, as you can see behind us also, we got jumping off rock back there and you can see there's a boat with some, uh, some people over there. They just jumped off recently, so they probably will be jumping off again during the course of this video. But um, one thing they have done over here is I guess DNR, somebody's put out some um, life jackets over in that area. So if you're swimming from the shoreline coming over here, over and you don't know how to swim very well there are or at least here recently there have been some life jackets available that you could utilize those to swim across the way so it wouldn't be quite so dangerous that's quite nice whoever did that um, as we always do let's start out with the monthly update uh, lots available right now 347 waterfront lots available uh, 26 pending right now 93 have sold uh, this year so far, and the average sales price is $300,236. Uh, last year at this time we were at 109, so we're right now that's seven, 16 less this year than we were last year. We were also at 287, 290. Uh, so the average sales price is about 3% higher this year. Uh, not a whole lot of change there. As far as homes, there are 142 active waterfront homes. There are 38 pending. Uh, so far this year, 112 have sold. Uh, the average sales price was 923,238, uh, and we're a little bit behind from last year. Last year at this time, we had sold 118, so we're six houses behind. Average sales price last year was 948,453, so that's dropped about $25,000 in the last year on the average sales price but again very similar uh, to where we were a year ago so not a lot of change there uh, one thing I was looking at recently because you may know Matt and I do a lot of um, waterfront lot sales and I just went back and looked in the last 5,000 days we were involved in over 4, or 400 uh, waterfront lot sales and that's either listing or selling or both and um, that's when I figured it out it was one every 13.4 days so with once in every two weeks or we at least sell or involved in one lot waterfront lot on this lake every two weeks now for the past 5,000 days to give you an idea how good that is that's almost double the second best agent in the market so uh, we're certainly well ahead on uh, people when you're selling your waterfront properties if you're not working with us you're certainly not working with the best out there because that's what we do the best is um, these waterfront properties out here so give us a call at some point again great time of year we're here in august um, and we're getting ready to have football season from today we are only 24 days from the clemson georgia tech game can't wait acc network uh, opening up at eight o'clock and again if you need a place to rent uh, give Rick Miller a call, 864-784-9977 for one of the Clemson football games or uh, just come down here to enjoy the fall. Uh, leaves will start turning here for too long. Uh, you know, about uh, September, hopefully we'll start feeling it cool down a little bit. But uh, if you need us, some people ask, is now a good time to put your property on the market? Could be that that house, there's a buyer out there and it just hadn't hit the market yet. So if I was thinking about putting it in, you know, the best part of the season is bring it on in March, but there's still buyers out there looking for the right house. So there's nothing wrong with putting your house on the market now. You might want to take it off the market if you don't sell it by Christmas and let it sit um, at least January and February and then put it back on in March. But now's a great time to put it on. Again, there are buyers out there and they may be looking for your home. We will come back next month, check you out again, but by then we will already have a football game under our belt, and I cannot wait.